I think I saw a university lecturer as my alternative to being an engineer. I used to have people like um, Daddy Joe Adeboye, uh, the other man now, uh, another Christian leader. They were my lecturers in the university, Kumuyi. I admire them, I admire their simplicity. They were my lecturers. Dr. Adeboye will come into the, into the class without any book. We will start, finish, you know, no notebook, no nothing, all from his head. I admired and I felt this is really what I want to be. What was success for you? So um, initially, it appeared that success was, you know, for the four-year course, making a first class. What was, you know, the longer-term success? Where, where did you see yourself? You know, in my head at that time, universities were great. At that time, you would see, you would see the children of lecturers. They will be speaking phonetics, English, as if they are born abroad. And on the same vein, you will hear them speak Yoruba, their native language, so well also. Unlike now that our children, they, they don't even can speak our own language. So because I used to occasionally see these university lecturers to their children in buses or in, in bookshops. So I felt this is just, and you see where lecturers were living at that time, it was a good life. And I, I used to have people like um, Daddy Joe Adeboye, uh, the other man now, uh, another Christian leader. They were my lecturers in the university. Kumuyi. I admire them. I admire their simplicity. They were my lecturers. Dr. Adeboye would come into the into the class without any book. We would start, we would finish, you know, no notebook, no nothing, all from his head. I admired and I felt this is really what I want to be, to be impacting knowledge, to be doing this, to be doing that, and to become a PhD holder as quickly as possible. So when I was leaving university and everybody was applying for a job, I wasn't. I was just looking for scholarship to go and do PhD, but that was really what success was for me. I also would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to share uh, some of my own experiences. Uh, I don't know how you intend to do this recording, but my desire and prayer is that whoever listening to these stories should be able to get something that will be of benefit to them. Thank you so much.